Hi, my beautiful Aries. How are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed in between you and your person. And with that said, oh my goodness, and with that said, let's take a quick look what's going on with your person. Again, this is a general reading, not a personal, so outcomes are going to be very different for everybody. And with that said, let's take a quick look what's going on between you and, and your person, Aries, okay? Six of Pentacles, we got Capricorn, very going towards energy. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, a lot of Earth signs here, or element. The Nine of Cups, this could also be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. A lot of emotions as well. And the Queen of Wands, this is your energy here, fire. At the bottom here, we got the Tower, Scorpio energy, and the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Cups as well. So with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles right here, so it was you and somebody and you gave this person many many chances and or you tried many many ways of making this connection work or making this connection be sustainable right but it just did not work because your person was uh used to receive and was not willing to give a relationship is effort from two people not just one person so your person was the one receiving and you were the one giving this is what we we call the chaser and the runner you know so that cost you actually that cost right that you actually was the one looking for validation or reaching out and being open and try you know to make things work with your emotions like you did everything to make this connection work because with the queen of wands right here you thought that it was gonna pay off you thought that this person either or could change or that you trying only was enough to make this connection work right no honey because before once this is a representation of let's say marriage relationships a connection with two people the problem is that with the tower it did not work and this uh, ended things did not work out because a connection is about two people trying not just one person that's why just eat burn with the seven of cups right here your person was very indecisive your person was like not even knowing what they wanted they were like playing this game that i want you i don't want you make signals it was a game that the only person that could win was the, this person but not you right now you put yourself first you're working on yourself and your money you look even more beautiful than before because you feel peace because you decided to step back or if this connection, you know, if they broke up with you, you decided to work on yourself and it's paying off because you look beautiful, you look wiser. Others of you have changed your hair color. I feel that like some of you have lost weight. So every little change in your life has been very, very positive and has worked for you, you know, very great. So let's see how is your person feeling towards you or this person feeling towards you, okay? How is it feeling towards um, Aries? Please and thank you. The Seven of Swords. They spy on you. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands. So they spy on you and your social media or in anything they can spy on you. And they're very upset because with the Queen of Swords, you are not reaching out to them. You are not caving in or you are not even suffering because everything, if they look at your social media or so, it looks normal. So at the end, um, it's like they they actually are in a way upset that they that you're not chasing them and why i'm saying this because like i was saying in the beginning this person was used to receive the one receiving everything and now that you have done the opposite which is minding your own business working on yourself they're not liking that and they're like where is where is aries like where is them with the 901s right here now you're looking at them like no boy no girl like if you want you have to come here again in a way, some of you might have feelings for this person. Others of you, you're done with them. But you're like looking good, feeling good. And this person is upset about it because you're not like you used to be like, you know, like the one trying, the one doing any, everything for them. Let's see what else. What else? Please and thank you. How they're feeling with the temperance right here. So actually, they are feeling like within time, you're going to cave in and then you're going to reach out to them. So we got this pride, look at this, the six pentacles. We got this pride here, thinking that, oh, this person is just acting, they're gonna reach out to me eventually. 
Well, the hangman right here is telling me that they're going to sit and wait because you're not going to reach out to them, but they feel you are. They feel like by not talking to you and ignoring you, which is the other way around, but they feel they are ignoring you, that you are going to feel so trapped that you're going to cave in. And that's funny because you're not. <laughs> With the full envy verse right here, it's like they are, they feel like they're, that you're not actually Aries energy, by the way, um, that you're not actually doing this because you want to. They feel it's like you want to prove a point and they feel like you are eventually going to come back because they can't believe that you're willing to move on from them. They have this narcissistic energy of like, oh, I have Aries in my hand. Like, you know but they don't think that you're really really leaving look at that the devil in reverse they feel capricorn energy they feel like like they have you with the hermit in reverse but they don't want to Virgo energy they don't want to admit that they are the problem they don't want to admit that they are the problem so you're dealing with a very toxic person that it does not accept that they are the issue does not accept that they will have to come back around instead of you with the queen of wands right here and you're living your best life but they think that this is all an act. They feel like they have they have you in their hand, like I said before. Like like um I don't know, like like um like a game or something, you know. Well there's um watching you, but we have a very ugh like narcissistic energy here. This person tends to wear like like they have come like long hair with no beard if it's a male but they have this nasty attitude that i don't like like oh they're gonna reach out now how do they feel towards you let's see how do they feel towards you right now the three of cups the queen of cups right here so they feel in a way peace because they feel like you and them are all like that you and them are meant to be. They feel like you and them, no matter what happens, you guys will always get back together. In their way, very weird way, they see you as family. And they feel like no matter what happened, you always come back. With the Nine of Cups right here, in a way, they have feelings for you. But this is a narcissistic person having feelings, which is very difficult to describe. But... They love you in their own weird way, but they are unwilling to show you how they really love you. They don't want to give you flowers. They don't want to be romantic. They don't want to do nothing. They just want you to know that they love you. But love is something that is cultivated and is taken care of just like a flower. If you don't put water, they get dry, you know. So they're not, they're very emotional, close, and they're actually very cold-hearted. They're a very cold-hearted person my goodness they are a very cold-hearted person like this person is completely blocked emotionally so what else let's see what else my child hold on i'm back he tends to throw things and scares me the hell out of me sometimes so with the two of pentacles and the hermit in reverse Yeah, they just don't like to show their emotions and they feel like sometimes I feel like you just be there because you should be there. So I don't know, like they're not, they don't want to accept that they miss you. First of all, they don't want to admit that they love you. They don't want to admit that they're doing things wrong. It's like they're gaslighting themselves into believing that. They have done everything to make this work, that they're not the problem. So, I mean, how can you fix a narcissistic person? You really can't. They have to look for their own, for the, for help, you know? With the 301s right here, again, they're still um, having feelings for you, but they're waiting for you to come back to them. Because they feel that you still love them. With the Ace of Pentacles and Reverse, they're actually in denial of acceptance of this connection being over. Because for some of you, this connection is completely over and you left an abusive, you know, manipulator person because abuse is not always hitting. It's like mentally and that's very hard to to deal with. I know that. So um, this person is like not admitting that this is over and they feel like, oh, they're going to come back eventually, like because they love me. 
but also they're not willing to work on this like you know on working on the forgiveness or even working on a relationship like they just want to have a relationship but they don't want to put any sort of effort like i said before they just want to receive the nine of wands in reverse this person will never make you happy to be honest this person is not going to be the one for you because this person like that look at that six of wands has the complex i wouldn't say god complex but like I deserve everything complex like uh, if they were famous like a celebrity they like this this attention that you used to give them like you were a fan like you know like this fan complex and not like the blowing fan it's like <laughs> like an actual fan when they're an artist you know when you you love a certain artist and you have and they have fans or groupies they like the attention that you used to give them that it was like a groupie or a fan attention towards them they felt that you will do anything for them they love the attention they love to be the center of your life and they like that they love that and we'll still see that in them and the, and the hero fund right here, they're very relaxed because they feel that you're coming back. Because they feel with the four of cups that you are, look at this. Even though that they're seeing this with the queen of wands, they feel like you are the four of cups unsatisfied and sad and wanting them to come back. So again, this is love. No, <laughs> this is not love. This is a narcissistic person loving themselves and tricking themselves into believing that they love you in a way. I don't know. This is not the love that you want or deserve. It's a hundred percent. You don't want this person. You don't need this person. So run. So again, what is the possible outcome between Aries and this person? Let's just get it over with. Because I think we have all the information we need. The four of ones. The ninth of ones in reverse. I feel you're gonna actually be going out with friends and family or friends you know good friends i'm sorry or a sister or something to like a festival for the 901s and you're gonna see this person there because this person is fine on you and they're gonna know that you're going out to a specific place so be careful where you share your location you know if you share your locations just be like i do i put let's say wisconsin but wisconsin is gigantic so it's very hard to find me so if you do put your location do not put do not put your exact location so it's harder for them to find you okay because they're actually going to use that to find to go where you are because they're a stalker because they're crazy the ten of cups and the justice in reverse um again this is not going to work out i feel you're not going to take them back you're not going to go back with them this is not your person the justice in reverse you are done with their treatment towards you libra energy by the way leo energy as well um, you're done with all of that you're done with injustice you're done with all of that so this person i will definitely again be aware of your surroundings because they will try to follow you i'm not sure how they're going to do it but that's what their intentions are um maybe i heard uh, get a restriction order for some of you because this person is kind of obsessed and and it's not like they're going to hit you or anything, but you know, when you don't want to deal with somebody and they're always there, like at your job or following you everywhere, it can become very um, stressful. So you might need a restriction order eventually. Not for everybody, for some of you, of course, but um, be careful with that, you know, um, with the paycheck ups and reverse. This person is not going to change. My nose was itchy. With the page of pentacles right here find your balance and like i said before um do not put your location where you go out i'm going to repeat that and i feel like you're just centered on you working on you wanting to find yourself i feel like this can help you to to be more spiritual to be more connected to your beliefs um you're going to also develop some sort of gifts uh you're a healer and sometimes and i know that because i'm a healer as well uh we go through hell and back so we can actually heal and help other people to not fall into the ways that we fall you know so this is going to be again at the end you're going to be very very blessed because you are going to work on yourself and you're going to achieve a lot of things in your life um let's see anything else you want to tell aries about the situation but you're not going to take them back that's for sure i feel like also the page of pentacles is a representation of a brand new beginning not only with money career and relocating also could be a new beginning in love like somebody else coming your way eventually you know with the ace of cups right now and reverse and the nine of pentacles yeah there's somebody coming your way eventually but right now they want you to focus not on like other people like not in like 
love love but self-love and with the nine of pentacles they want you to work on yourself and your healing and your growth and also in your money and career and the magician right here they, they want to remind you that you're powerful that you're more powerful than you believe and to take back your power and use the power given and the tools given so you can actually develop and go to where you need to be and don't forget the temperance card right here you're protected by your angels and ancestors and all the step of the way but again be careful okay in your surroundings and you know i don't feel you're going to take this person back obviously not so hmm, sucks to be them so what is the advice i got for you let me give you an advice for you my beautiful aries one more okay thank you so very much so we got kindness at the bottom and it says live with compassion open your heart to all life forms be an angel with hands destiny acknowledge your mission align with your purpose you have gifts to share with the world that i told you manifestation your dreams have untold energy open the door and let them live desire and belief are your power and last one expectation expectations it says be open for whatever comes next it might just be the music your heart's been wanting to hear so that is your advice there thank you so very much aries for your time please like and subscribe and i'll be back this week with more readings um also i'm gonna be having a live this friday at 1 p.m cst i'm gonna have some like you know chat we can gossip ask me questions and i'm also gonna give some um cards readings uh especially it's gonna be one card reading but to as much people as i can for as long as i can as well so again if you want to check it out i'll be here friday on live on youtube bye blessings